water out of the hair. Wring the water out of the air or my hair. You ain't taking no pictures. <laughs> he said I always take pictures of the worst. Sand dunes. Oh my gosh. Here's hoping I'm wrong. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Oh. Some of you have asked what happened? Why did you stop doing that? Because that was good, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. We were just having a guessing game about of the parts of the fields that don't look good as every farmer is that way <laughs> my friends on Instagram show that all the time you always take pictures of the worst place and then when you get to the good you ain't taking no pictures <laughs> he said I always take pictures of the worst and then I don't take pictures of the good okay here's the good well that was the good it's still not bad it's doing better Okay, I'm definitely taking pictures right now. Taking video. <laughs> These do look good. Wow, what happened right here? We got the little honey Stay. hole. Honey hole right here. Stay, Clara. <laughs> Had to get out of the mule for these. Okay, well, like she's, they're listening very well. Huh? If all of them look like that, it'd be good. If all of them did, oh well. Good to see, though. It's good to see. They're sand dunes. Oh my gosh. Beans are growing in the sand, though. Look at this. I mean, we could stock several. We could sell that stuff. Play sand. Wally. Wally is here and Wally has saved the day. Wally has brought fresh tomatoes. So I get to have a fresh... Oh, I forgot to put mayonnaise on the other piece of bread. Oh, that's where my brain is. Anyway, I get to have a fresh tomato sandwich for lunch. Whoop, whoop. Today, today is just one of those days, y'all. Um, haven't videoed anything. Fed calves this morning. The kids uh, just washed the sheep. Didn't get any of that on video, but they're clean. I'll show you. 
they look so much better because they were looking, well, quite rank. Rank is the word of the week, evidently. Anyway, the, the sheep are clean. The kids are now in the pool, which is awesome. I'm glad they're out there having a good time. Um, today is a get stuff done um, day. I have some writing deadlines. So I've been hanging out in the crib. Just took a break to get a sandwich. And um, got to head back out there. And then I have another call this afternoon. And this is just what we're doing today. So not going to be very exciting on the YouTube end of things, I don't believe. Uh, but that's the way that goes. Tomorrow... I get my hair did, so that's good. What else is tomorrow? Oh, and then guitar. And then we're going to be in hay, y'all. We're going to be in hay. Probably in another. He's going to have to ted it at least once or twice. Um, again, I believe. So, it looks like towards the end of the week, we're going to be in hay. And um, that could last several days. Several days. Several days of raking and bailing. And then probably several days of hauling. Which I've probably already said. But anyway, that's where we're at. So, stay tuned. I'll bring you along. And I will, um, we'll just hope and pray that we don't have issues. I just, um, I'm just foresee that much hay. It's heavy and thick as it is. I just foresee something going wrong. I don't know. Call it the pessimist in me. Yeah, or the realist. Either way, here's hoping I'm wrong. Oh my gosh, and the grass, the grass needs mowing again. Ugh. I don't know when that's going to get done. Hey, Reba. Hey, Rusty, show everybody your new clean little bodies. And you've been under there. You're, you're using the bathroom. They like to get under there and lay. Yeah, and get dirty. You look so pretty. You look so much better. Do you feel better? Does her feel better? Yeah? You look a lot better. Except for your knees. Look at your dirty knees. <sighs> Having fun? What are you doing? Okay, not cool. Not, not cool. Thank you. Cool, but not cool. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Okay. Have fun. I'm going to work. I'm going to keep working. I gotta keep crunching. I gotta keep typing. I gotta get this done. Oh no, my phone's wet. All right. I'll see y'all maybe around supper. <laughs> Seriously. Don't know. I don't know. Be sweet. Don't hurt each other. Have fun. Play. Be happy. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you before night. Y'all, there's a quail out here. There's a quail. A bob white. Oh, we don't see many of those around here. Still riding. I'm so glad I happened to see See him going by. I can't wait to tell Lawrence. He gets really excited when he hears or sees a, a quail. Okay. Um, Bonnie is snoring. She's snoring. She's snoring. She was she was just in like major rapid, what do they call that? REM? Whatever, she was twitching. Really bad. She's got it really, she's got it really rough. Okay, back to writing. Oh my gosh, look y'all. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is my newest obsession that I've only done once. But I think this time I might have got a little too full. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so here's the skinny. Ice cream. Uh, probably not the best word, but... Nobody around here is going to be skinny if I make this every day. But anywho, um, so for years, the only way I've ever made ice cream is with one of those big four quart freezers that you have to put the rock salt in and the ice. And um, I mean, it's like a process. It's a big process. You have to go to the store. We have to buy ice because we don't have enough ice because our ice cream maker is another story. This refrigerator is like a big fat lemon. Anyway, so... It broke two years ago. Haven't had an ice cream maker. I started looking online and I found this Cuisinart. Cuisinart? 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 How do you say that? Uh, it only makes two quarts. Lawrence laughed at me. I didn't even tell him that I bought it because I knew he was going to laugh. He said, you ain't got nothing there. It only makes two quarts. Okay, whatever. 
Uh, but it makes it in two, no, in 25 minutes. It's very good. Um, it does need time to sit in the freezer a couple hours. So like I just made this, I just made this. Uh, you can definitely eat it right out of the freezer and it's definitely good. But what I found the first time I did it, um, I ate some of course right afterwards and then I let it sit in the freezer and we had some more that night and it was perfect consistency. So this is only the second batch I've made. I added banana to this. Um, excited to try different recipes. If you, um, if you have one of these and you love it and you use it, tell me if you don't love it, you can tell me that too, but I've already bought it. So it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I'd love to have, you know, different here, different ways to use it. Um, we're going to try some different things. So that's what we're doing. We're going to be making some more ice cream. Now we love ice cream. We eat too much ice cream, honestly. Um, we really do eat too much ice cream around here, but it's summer. It's summer. It's hot. We we need this. We need this ice cream, dairy, deliciousness in our life. So, now it's going to be easier. Each one uses about three cups of whipping cream. <laughs> it's a lot of whipping cream. Uh, so... I'll be going to the Aldi and the Walmart to get the cheapest whipping cream available. But anywho, that's neither here nor there. It's all good. It's literally all good. Okay, well, um, I've been inside too much today. When I'm inside too much, sitting at the computer, I just get a little icky feeling. So, um, I'm going to mow the grass. It looks like we might get another little storm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Hello, Reva. Are you so happy? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Full bunny. Pretty clean. The sheeps are feeling a little frisky. Are you feeling a little frisky? Yeah. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Bye. 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 Okay, that was bad, I know. All right, get out from under my... No, move. I was planning to go to the crib and uh, do some more writing, but then the sheep followed me up the road and I, I had to spend 15 minutes getting them back to the house without running them over. And now I wanna, I wanna see what Lawrence is doing. I didn't know he was gonna be doing this tonight. This is good though, y'all, this is good, okay? Woohoo! Look at here, look at here, look at here. Oh my gosh. Some rankness is being released. <laughs> I know we've used that word too much, but it just, I mean, if the word fits, might as well use it. Anyway, so he's cleaning out the under the barn because we're going to have to work more here very shortly. Well, it's gonna have to wait probably until after we're done with the hay. Yeah, so anyway, we gotta get more in here and it sure will be nice to uh, be able to actually walk in here without a couple of feet of mud, if you will. We all know it's not really mud. It is mud of sorts, but anywho, this is good. Get out of there, Bonnie. Gross! No! 
a bad girl. Come here. Come here. Come here. Can you get through there? Oh my. Well, you got in there. How did you get in there? Come here, Bonnie. And she does that. She really doesn't pay attention very well. Mosquitoes are eating me alive. Anyway. <laughs> Y'all, look at this. Oh, man. Okay. Whoa. Okay. We're done, Bonnie. We're done, we're going in, and we're going to bed. I'm going to get in my bed, and you're going to get in your other bed. It's a hard knock life, ain't a baby. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Somebody's gonna wanna know what I was writing. I was writing an article for our local magazine well, it's, it's becoming somewhat of a little regional magazine around here. Several, several counties. I don't know if you would call that a region. Anyway, Heiko Lake Magazine will be in the fall edition. It will also be online. Pretty sure the articles will be online. This is a, this is a special one. So I've been doing writing for this magazine for several years. Several years now. But um, the owner, Pete Barry, Peter Barry asked me to write an article about myself. So this one was this one was fun. It was different. Usually I'm interviewing somebody and writing up their story, but this was me interviewing myself, writing my own story. So yeah. Yeah. I feel good about it. I mean, I feel okay about it. I hope it's okay. I guess we'll see. Today, um, I just said this on Instagram, but it really fits. Today has been a wash, as in a wash, cut, and color, and it's just gone. Uh, no farming other than feeding some cows this morning. Lawrence has been tatting in between getting my hair did and then coming home and taking care of some business on the computer and emails and store stuff and then taking Wesley back to guitar. This is it. This has been my day. Um, I am making something tonight, though, that I have not made in a very long time, and it is a recipe that's up on my blog. Um, it's the musket powder sliders, beef hamburger sliders. They're so good, and I was trying to think today, what can I make that I haven't made in a while? These. This is what we're doing. So, um, yeah, I want you to check that out if you're new around here. Um, I For a little while, I was doing a separate YouTube channel with Just Recipes. Some of you have asked, what happened? Why did you stop doing that? Because I can hardly keep up with one channel. Uh, yeah, sometimes I get ahead of myself. I just, I get, I get really excited and I, I do something and then I realize maybe that wasn't the bestest idea. So now I just kind of sprinkle them in here and there. Um, but this is one that I've already done. I think it's going to be here. I think, I think I, I think it's this finger. I think it's right here. Anywho, um, so check that out. They're super duper yummy. And if you buy musket powder, I do not sell this on my website. A lot of you have asked that. I don't sell this. This is only available at musketpowder.com. It is starting to be available in some stores, some places. Um, but yeah, you can find it online, musketpowder.com. And if you use my code TFW, 
this farm wife tfw you get 10 percent off so um every single one of their flavors i love them i use them every single day literally every single day um so yeah there's that okay maybe we'll be uh doing something a little more productive tomorrow we'll see hay is coming he's got to ted it at least one more day at least one more time, maybe two. We're also looking at the possibility of some rain in a few days. So we really, we're gonna have a very narrow window to get all this hay up. Here's open. So this is the mix, it's, it's hamburger. It's um, some diced onions and sweet peppers and musket powder, of course. And then, um, what else? Oh, then what makes it stringy here is shredded cheese and a little bit of mayonnaise. And you mix it all together and you put it in, um, I like these Hawaiian sweet rolls. You put it in that and then I'm going to top it with the other half of the rolls, wrap it, put it in the oven for 20 minutes or so till it gets good and warmed through and cut them up and so good y'all. Seriously, you have to try this recipe. You'll thank me. I mean, I think you will, because I thanked me when I made it. So, anywho. Wes and I have feed duty this morning. Lawrence has gone to the tire store. Imagine that. The Durango can't go back on the road without new tires, because they were shot. So, we're getting those, and I think he's getting one or two front tractor tires. Yeah, because... Uh, we always need them, it seems. Something's always blowing. Or whatever it does. Deflating. Getting holes in it. Not working. All right. Yeah. That worked. Good morning. Did I hit the spot? Yeah. You're a pretty girl, number five. You really are. Yeah, Got a pretty little head on you. Okay, that's done. Easy peasy. I have neglected spraying weeds in our yard for a very long time. I just spent a very long time doing that and you know it is hot. You know it is disgusting when all you do is walk around the yard and you come in soaking wet. Yeah. I want to ride my bike. You're going to ride your bike? Good. That's good. That's good. I'm glad somebody's doing some exercise. I'm going to count walking around the yard with the spray can as today's exercise. Little D. Little D is going to get some new shoes today. And then she's going to get tags and insurance. And we'll get her on the road. Hopefully. Okay, well, a bunch of people said to use WD-40 on this, on this right here. I tried, y'all. It's, uh, it's not working. We might just be stuck with this. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Mop, mop fueling up. They greased up and fueled up. He's heading back to Ted. Water, check. We'll come bring you lunch in a little while, okay? Happy Tedding. Looks a little different down here, doesn't it? <laughs> this has all been tedded. And he's at it again. And the lunch crew is here to find the farmer. Found him. So this isn't nearly as pretty as it was the other day. <laughs> I had Wes um, bring the drone again today, but now I'm I'm like, this is, this is not going to be pretty at all. I will say that I am so proud of him. I really think that footage on that last video 
one of the last two or the last two anywho uh when lawrence was cutting the hay i think that's some of my favorite it is my favorite footage that he's done so far he's getting better with it it was smoother i cut out a lot less than i normally do and it just looked really cool like i i really loved it um anyway so proud mom alert but really it's doing good right y'all yeah and some people have asked about licensing and we have been um i've had a lot a lot of you reach out to me about licensing and i know there are a lot of others out there that don't that have large channels and use these and don't have a license but he is gonna do that we're gonna do that I'm gonna put him through that course and let him let him get all licensed up so that's just answering that question for everybody that has it Woo! it's warm out here it is warm it's not warm it's hot there it goes There it is, hovering over. Yeah, just throwing out some brown hay. <laughs> it's not very pretty, is it? Uh, it's still cool. Still, still fun to get a different vantage point. Big words. I'm not really, but kind of, sort of. Anyway. <laughs> My little suction cup things are all missing. Well, there's one laying right there. Oh, okay. He's not wrong. This is the one I used in the tractor. No, the one in the tractor still in the tractor. It is? Yeah. I know. Well, let's see how that works. It's back. I know, I'm not going to video you the whole time you're eating because you hate that. He did just he did just notice something though and ask me. Yes, this is one of my new purses. I don't have very many in my bag. This, this is a concealed carry. It's very it's like a statement piece. I love it. Anyway. And you know, every time you catch it, beating it up, all that's going on the ground you don't get. Alright, I let him uh, eat his lunch in peace mostly. Even brought him homemade frosty. That was good, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, we were just having a guessing game about how much hay will be down here. Wesley says 103 bales. I'm saying between 90 and 100. Lawrence is erring on the side of caution and saying 85 and hoping it's over 100. But he was saying how, you know, it looks like when you cut it, it looks like it's 200 bales and then you ted it and you beat it a few times and he says it's like it just shrinks. Um, what is the drying status situation? I mean, what did you, you say? I mean, how is it looking? Will we We're be bailing tomorrow? Okay, that's what I was happen. wondering. Nothing happens. I looked, I looked at the weather. There's not even rain on the forecast the next like four days. They changed it. None, mm -hmm. of, none at all. <laughs> it was supposed to possibly rain tonight, which would really, really, really mess us up. So now it's not showing anything. So that would be good if we could get this out of the field. If we could get it bailed. They ain't got a 40% to do. <laughs> They're all different. They're all different. It changes by the hour. We get this bailed and then also get it out. That's one thing I, I think that 
that makes me more nervous than anything is all the hauling out up that wet road. I know you don't think it'll be any trouble, but it's not my favorite thing to do. It makes me nervous. It makes me very nervous. It still makes me nervous. Anyhow, here we go. We're about to be in hay, y'all. A lot of hay, hopefully. I mean, it's going to be a lot regardless, but just hope nothing breaks down with all this hay. I just, I just don't, I don't, I don't have a lot of faith, but I should, so we'll see. And he's off again, and we're off again. I'm going to hit all the holes again. <laughs> 